what's going on guys welcome back so before i jump into this reaction of the final episode of season one of vinland saga um let me apologize not necessarily needed but i feel like i need to um vinland saga my journey for these 23 episodes that i've watched already i had to go back and watch the entire season um take my time through it kind of take a little bit of notes here and there to kind of have a synopsis of what i'm getting into because i've heard so much about episode 24 still haven't seen it yet gonna watch it um after i finish this um but i have to say some things about vinland saga um which i'm pretty sure all of you are going to agree with or disagree with whatever the situation is um this is from my perspective of going back and actually binge watching the entire thing and i took some note i know it took me a while to get to the actual reaction of this episode but we're here um so what i want to say about vinland saga and i think i i kind of um you know when i did a live stream and i talk and i talked a little bit about my perspective after going back and somebody did ask when am i going to watch episode 24 and i did tell them at some point just needed to gather my thoughts about it but i did give a synopsis of what i thought of what i was watching re-watching and what i was gathering from things um there was a specific comment the person know who they are that caused me to go back because i was watching the 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 show in a, such a sporadic way and some things i didn't remember of what happened before and it might have might have caused me not to react to certain things and certain things like that because you know that's what people are watching your reaction for is like did you feel the same thing that i feel when i watch the episode so because this person has been watching my reactions forever i kind of took the comment very serious because they left me about two or three paragraphs, <laughs> you know, so I took it really serious and I say, you know what, let me go back because, you know, on this channel, as I've told you, told you guys before on this channel, I'm always going to respond well to constructive criticism because that is something that helps people to grow. You are not, you're not everything. You are not a perfect being. You get what I'm saying? Maybe I can go back and see what this person saw or even better see something more than he, this person saw so i went back binge watched the entire thing and the number one thing that i came out with was that this season of vinland saga is is more about Askeladd than thorfinn that was the number one thing that i got from this season that in 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 a certain aspect the season is more about Askeladd because when you look at it from his perspective and what he was trying to do, um, getting close to, to Canute, um, killing Ragnar, all of these things, all of the plans that he had in place for getting, for, for getting um, close to someone who he can, who he can be um, honor, who he can honor. You get what I'm saying? So him, him killing Bjorn, all of these different things, man, it's just him, him, him. The only thing that we've seen Thorfinn do is just, he's just there. He's the excitement. He's the excitement. He got those crazy moments. You know what I'm saying? He's got those crazy moments in the show and we were all excited for that. But overall, the story is all about him the lessons that he was trying to teach Thorfinn you know what I'm saying um it's just even though you know what I'm saying Thorfinn wants to kill him he's still being that father figure and also the entire story about about just being human all in all it, this story is just about being human back in those days you know what I'm saying not understanding certain things like um love and you you get what i'm saying them not even knowing that like they're hearing about love for the first time they don't even know what that is you know what i'm saying so it's just it's just awesome to see things from their perspective and also understanding that 
the the um them even going back now targeting um Askeladd's homeland um the king you know King Swain or whatever his name is um and, and Canute knowing knowing what's going to happen what is going to happen in this episode I don't know but the whole crew is going I have a lot more to say but I want I don't want to carry on too much in the intro so um, there's a lot more that I want to say. I will have a review up, and I'm going to do my review separately from the review that I'm going to do it directly after this reaction. So make sure you look out for that. So let's jump into the episode. Let's see what it's all about, and then I will come back and do a full review of what I think of the entire season and some other thoughts that I have, some notes that I took down, okay? So let's jump into it, and I will see you guys for the review. All right, let's talk about it, man, because I know everybody was probably in tears watching this episode. I, I really like I was like, I'm <laughs> freaking cry on camera. I'm doing that shit too much lately. <laughs> so I was trying real hard to hold back these tears because it was a very emotional episode on so many levels. You know, and it goes back to some of the stuff I was talking about in the intro where as in going back and watching watching the the the, the um the episodes, all twenty three of them, really kinda taught taught me more about the series, um, and kinda have a better understanding of what the writing was trying to portray story wise. Um and as I said, this is as much as I love Thorfinn this season was not about him it was it was about him but but it it's more of the relationship that he had with the most prominent character which is Askeladd um so for me the build up to his death to Askeladd you know death you know him basically sacrificing himself you know what i'm saying sacrificing himself for Knut and for whales that is and you know what i'm saying and then the way how thorfinn was acting towards him as in what are you doing man you know what i'm saying it's just it's heartbreaking because as i said you know as i said before about me the, the father figure that he represented for thorfinn you know what i'm saying teaching him lessons along the way even though you know he claims that he hates children you know he keeps teaching thorfinn lessons on top of lessons on top of lessons if you go back and watch those episodes man you will see all the lessons he was trying to teach him even fighting wise he taught him a lot as he, he taught him a lot you know what i'm saying even though he talks about thorfinn as if he's some disposable you know what i'm saying disposable um thing or garbage you know what i'm saying he still had he still treated him like a son so for him it's just is it's just like you know the whole letting go situation of promising thor's that he would you know spear his son you know what i'm saying he still kind of t took that responsibility of when 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 um when thorfinn still stuck with him you know what i'm saying with the sole goal of just ha getting revenge for his father and is like if basically Thorfinn in that moment was what was basically thinking if you die my mom my, my life basically doesn't have any meaning now you know what I'm saying so you know that's why Askeladd was trying to tell him hey man you gotta move forward because I'm out of it I'm gone you know what I'm saying um you know what I'm saying? I kind of knew that he was going to somehow go after Knut. That's why I wasn't surprised that he did. I didn't surprise that he did because Knut is the one that killed Askeladd. Who's next? You know what I'm saying? In that moment, he's not really thinking straight. He's thinking, hey, man, you just took out someone that even though I don't know, even though I don't know that I mean something to him or he meant something to me. You know what I'm saying? Like emotional, their emotional connection is, is palpable. You know what I'm saying? It's there. It's seen beyond behind the scenes. It's there. You know. So the 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 um 
I said I was asking during the episode, is it part of the plan what Askeladd was was doing? And it turns out to be it is a part of a plan. Him, you know what I'm saying? That the moment King Swain whispered that thing in his ears about his, all his people are slaves, I knew that that would trigger anybody. You know what I'm saying? That would trigger that would trigger anybody. That would that would trigger anybody. I don't want to put any spe specific stuff in there, but if you say that, if you as a if you as a person, I don't care what race you are, if you say that to a black person, it, it's go time. <laughs> it's go time, okay? It's go time. You know what I'm saying? So I can imagine anybody if you say that to anyone about a complete race of people or country of people, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's go time. It's go time. And if they had him respond in any other way than that, it would have been very unorthodox for the story because you would have looked at it and be like, so you cool with him calling all your people slaves? You know what I'm saying? Like, I still didn't expect him to kill the dude, but... Or them to write it so he kills him. You get what I'm saying? I would have maybe expect him to go after the king. They they caught him before. You know what I'm saying? He could kill the king or whatever the situation is. But man, that shit was... It caught me off guard. Like, I did not expect him. Because, I mean, even in the talking of what he was doing, like, he wasn't going to. You know what I'm saying? Um, And he still did. So that was pretty cool. Um... King Swain deserved to die after what he was, all that shit he was talking in, in Askeladd's ear. He deserved to die. I just didn't expect him to die in that moment. Um, so, man, that was crazy. That was crazy. As I said, I'm going to have a full review of season one, um, talking about it, talking about what I enjoyed, you know, you know, what I didn't like, which is not much, if anything. You know, and just talking about the technical aspects of the series going forward. You know what I'm saying? Um, the studio that created, they did an amazing job. So I'm going to be talking about that too. I'm talking about the sound design, um, you know, OSTs, all of that good stuff um, that we love to talk about in the anime community. But thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. As always, it's your boy Terry by Reacts. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like this video. And also... Subscribe if you're new. See boy Terry by Reacts. And I'm out. This was awesome.